Hi, I'm Alexandra Hilbron from Tribute Entertainment. We're here with Victoria and Shelby from The Next Step. And we're going to be talking to them about all kinds of things, including the upcoming episodes and their upcoming tour, Down Under. So welcome, you guys. First, I want to ask Victoria, you've been on the show since the beginning. Mm -hmm. What's it like to have to say goodbye to old characters and then welcome new ones? Oh, that's actually like one of the first times I've ever been asked that question. Um, it's definitely hard to say goodbye to old characters. I remember the transitional year, you know, when um, most of the new cast members were introduced. It was very different. It was a different atmosphere atmosphere on set, for sure. But I feel like, you know, with any show, um, you know, with any show that lasts for generations, it, it must be done. And, you know, we have up-and-coming fans of the show that are, are younger and that are, you know, growing up with the show. And once you introduce new characters, they become attached to those characters. So it was definitely hard, but I feel like it was a new environment and in a great environment. And I'm thankful that, you know, I'm still on the show and that I um, still get to work with all these new cast members and kind of, you know, bring them under our wings. So it's really special. And Shelby, you joined the cast in season four. Yeah. How did you get the role? Um, I got the role just like uh, Victoria. I auditioned um, in season four, but I actually auditioned uh, for every single season. So I started out in season one, but I was only nine at the time. And, uh, uh, you know, I did season two, season three, uh, just kept going at it. And then finally, in season four, I was old enough, and I, I guess I caught their eye, and I, I got the role. So you guys are very busy promoting the show right now because you've got upcoming episodes. You just did Family f family Fan Day yes. at the Canadian Screen Awards. What was that like? Oh, it was so awesome. I did the event last year with Tre Trevor Flanny, and um, honestly, it was so much fun. Like, our fans just come out and they, they bring us notes and they, you know, they, they love to take photos with us. It's so special. What did you think about it? Well, I, this was kind of my first uh, real fan event and so it was super like surreal because mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I, I used to be uh, a fan of the show and now having, um, you know, all these kids being a fan of, of, you know, of me and Victoria, it's just, it's so cool to see and be there it's, it's really exciting yeah. and it was you know great setup and lots of fun it was so cool people bringing us letters and yeah. photos. Yeah. So it was so sweet. it was awesome yeah. did you get to meet any of the cast members of other shows there um we kind of got to hang out with like uh the stars of degrassi obviously as they're with dhx as well and backstage, uh, backstage. and then there was also um, a bunch of cast members from murdoch mysteries which yeah. was mm -hmm. like a huge fan favorite yeah so yeah, I'm, and my mom, she loves Sons of Anarchy, so she got to meet someone from <laughs> Sons of Anarchy, so that was cool for her. And there was a lot of really amazing people there, so yeah. Now, I understand you guys are about to go on tour to New Zealand and Australia uh, as part of the next step. What are you looking forward to the most? Um, well, this is my uh, my first like international tour with the show, so I'm just looking forward to uh, dancing on stage and you know, spending time with all the cast members yeah. and just exploring, you know, the world. It's so cool that we get to travel the world and do what we love. And, you know, I'm really yeah. grateful to be yeah. a part of it. Victoria, you've done many tours before. Did you have some advice for Shelby? Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you never know what's going to hit you on tour. I mean, the tour life is, like, really different from you know real life I feel like you get wrapped up in being like oh I'm in a different city every single day and there's mm -hmm. so much to see and there's so much to do and you know you're working constantly but I feel like obviously getting a lot of rest is very important you know eating the right things mm -hmm. staying energized and seeing as much as you can because you never know when you're going to be back in back these in. cities so I think that's really it though it's just those three main things and you have the key to success for cool. touring yeah. <laughs> yeah. and let's talk about filming the show how long does it take to film each episode and do you film one at a time or are there several on the go? I mean, we kind of shoot the show a little bit differently. We yeah. shoot very fast. Like, for example, we shot 40 episodes of season four mm -hmm. in three months. Yeah, it takes about a day and a half to do yeah. an episode. But it's all, it's scattered. So we'll yeah. be in, we'll do, like, things in blocks. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll do four episodes per block. Yeah. So it'd be, like, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. And we do and those. There's, like, different scenes every single day from yeah. each episode. And, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, like, really fun. Yeah. the fact that we get to film that many episodes. Your castmate Trevor, who plays James, has directed an episode. What was that like to be directed by somebody who is your co-star? Yeah, it was it was really fun. Um, 
Trevor and Lamar Johnson, they both directed that year, and I felt like it was like it was really different. But I took them very seriously, obviously, even though they are my friends and, and co-workers. But because they were doing such a great job, they knew what they were doing. They came in with great direction, and they did an amazing job. It was yeah. really fun, yeah. Yeah, and it, like it wasn't. It, yeah, they did a spectacular job. Mm-hmm. I mean. Um, yeah, like it was so cool to, because they are, you know, our friends mm-hmm. and our cast members. So to, you know, kind of have them have like we get their artistic, you know, perspective, mm-hmm. and they kind of get to guide us. And like I, I learned a lot from both of them. So yeah, yeah. For each of you, what's been your favorite storyline for your character so far? Mm-hmm. Favorite storyline. I mean, for me, I think my favorite storyline to this day is just being the new girl in season one I feel like that was like a really big moment for me and um, for all the other cast members as well so it's definitely still my favorite it's the classic thing that everyone knows me by it was being the new girl uh, and I, I think mine's probably um, the love interest she has with uh, Latroy yeah it's it's really cool to be able to you know express those emotions towards someone and, and play that part and you know be in love and head over heels for someone so yeah I really enjoy that and what would both of you like to do next would you like to be professional dancers actors combine the two or something completely different what do you think? I, I think combine the two I, I always want to dance but I, I definitely want to uh, you know pursue a career in acting yeah me as well I, I mean like I've talked to my agent many times and you know I want to be known as an actress who can dance just because I really really do love acting and I want to be taken seriously with my acting but I've been dancing since I was three so mm-hmm. definitely always be a part of me yeah. whether if it's me teaching or choreographing in the future it will definitely always be a part of my life mm-hmm. would you consider doing stage I would yeah, yeah. yeah for sure <laughs> I would love sure. to I think that would be so special yeah and one last question. What can you tell us and your fans about the upcoming episodes? What do you think, there's, Shelby? <laughs> there's some ec- really exciting stuff. There's going to be uh, lots of dancing because mm-hmm. uh, we're, you know, heading to regionals yeah. now. But there's going to be lots of drama. Yeah. I mean, this is the fate of the studio yeah. uh, and the fate of Jiley, which yeah. is like... And, you know, there was so many changes in season four, mm-hmm. so I feel like the the next couple of, ep- the last couple of episodes will just wrap up all the struggles that the team has been through, you know, mm-hmm. like you said, heading in, heading to regionals, um, the relationship struggles, and just a struggle as a team yeah. overall, and I feel like everyone will really see how badly the next step wants to win regionals. Mm-hmm. Are there any surprise appearances we can look forward to? Oh, I don't, I think I, most of the surprise appearances already happened, yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so, so... Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank Thank you. you.